Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It's time for On Deck Baseball, our fictional season, featuring my Bulls, which happen to be off to a 4-2 and two start. All thanks to the managing, of course. Uh, and we are in Hornet land. The Bulls are at the Hornets today for game seven of our very young season. Um, I'm putting the link to On Deck Baseball in the description for this video. If you want to check out both On Deck Baseball and On Deck Baseball Pro, that's the spot to check it out. That link is in the description for this video, as is the link to channel membership. With channel membership to my channel, you get access to members-only videos, discounts in the secondary store, and a free gift from me every month. So that's a big value for you as well. That link is below in the description for this video as well. All right. We have one personnel change to announce. Chris Lane was injured in our last game. He suffered a severe maiming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so he is on the injured list for the next two weeks. Um, and so up from the minors in triple from triple A Okoboji is don't tell me, don't tell me, I will get it. It is young Ronnie Ruxin who is no relation to Teddy Ruspin, just in case you're wondering. This is Ronnie Ruxin, not Teddy Ruspin. They're two different people, totally different. So young Ronnie Ruxin will not be starting today. Uh, he is hyperventilating in the clubhouse even as we speak. So he's just got a pile of lunch bags next to him. He'll be good to go. All right, the, um, I think we're ready for the starting lineups and ready to roll some on-deck baseball. For the visiting Bulls, Paul Moody leads off in center field. Dave Bryant bats second and right. Pancho Carmona bats third at first base. Leroy Ramey bats fourth. He'll be in left. Craig McKenzie bats fifth. He's the catcher. Carl Phelps bats sixth. He's the third baseman. Kenny Lidstrom is going to bat 7th. He's the DH. Jaime Arispe is going to bat 8th and play 2nd base in place of Lane. And Robert Bartlett bats ninth. He will be the shortstop. On the mound, it's Kurt Horsford, a right-hander with a value of 63. All right, for the homestanding uh, Hornets, Louis Monteso is going to lead off and he's going to play shortstop. Orlando Rosas bats second and plays left. Daniel Callaway bats third and plays center field. John Rhodes bats fourth. He'll be at third base. Bill O'Sheehan will bat fifth. He's the second baseman. Octavio Medina will bat sixth. He's at first base. Ivan Castillo will bat seventh. He's the catcher. Chris Holland bats eighth. He'll be at DH. And batting ninth, it's Jose Garcia. He'll play right field. Jesus Molina uh, is the pitcher today. He's a right-hander with a stamina of five and a value of 70. All right, here we go. Jesus Molina has finished his warm-up tosses, and we are ready to go. And this is going to be uh, swung on by Moody. And he misses everything. Molina <laughs> strikes him out. And we are underway in Hornet land. One down in the top of the first. Here comes probably our MVP so far, Dave Bryant. Molina kicks and deals. And Bryant strikes out. So two up and two down on strikes right off the bat. For the Bulls, Pancho Carmona, no stranger to the strikeout himself. Molina kicks and delivers to him, and that is the side. 
Jesus Molina is smoking early. We go to the bottom of the first. It's the Bulls, nothing, and the Hornets coming to bat. Kurt Horsford is going to try and corral the Hornets in this one. All right, the wind-up and the delivery by uh, Kurt Horsford. And he walks Louis Monteso. And so the Hornets have a base runner right off the bat. Ah. Well, let's see what happens here. Too early to bunt, I'm saying. Horsford, the stretch and the delivery. And Horsford gets Rosas to hit it on the ground. Well, maybe it wasn't too early to bunt. Uh, that is hit to the second baseman. That's Arispe. Arispe is a two. And they force Monteso at second. Here comes Bartlett firing to Carmona to turn the double play. And they got him. It's a rally killing, soul crushing, four six three double play turned by those bulls. And there's now two outs and nobody on for Daniel Calloway. The wind and the delivery by Horsford is hit in the air. This goes to right field. Pounding the glove is Bryant, and he makes the catch for out number three. So nothing across in the first. We go to the second with no score in Hornet land. Jesus Molina struck out the side in the first. We'll see if those hijinks are going to continue here in inning number two. The line in the delivery by Molina. Uh, and that will be hit in the air by Rami. To right field, Garcia is there and makes the catch for out number one. Craig McKenzie now. The wind and the delivery, and McKenzie gets a piece of it. He hits it on the ground to second. That's O'Sheehan, and he will flip to Medina, and there's two down in the Bulls' second inning. Carl Phelps, the third baseman, comes to the plate. The delivery to him is a base hit for Carl Phelps. It's the first hit of the game for either team. That goes to center field. And Callaway gets it back in. A two-out single brings up Kenny Lidstrom. Molina the stretch for the first time in the delivery. And this is drilled by Lidstrom, and it's going to get into the gap in left center field. Around second goes Phelps. He's heading for third, and we'll stop there. Second and third for Arispe. Chance for the Bulls to get on the board early. Two outs, though. Molina the stretch and the delivery to Jaime, and he struck him out. He made him look sick on that fastball. He was about four days late with the swing. We will end the top of the second with nothing across. couple of hits for the Bulls, but nothing across. We go to the bottom of two with the Bulls nothing and the Hornets nothing. Rhodes, O'Shean, and Medina coming up in the Hornets second. The wind and the delivery is hit on the ground. That is hit to the pitcher, Horsford. Takes a few steps toward Pancho Carmona and tosses him the ball for out number one. Billy O'Sheehan comes to the plate. Horsford kicks and deals. And... That will be hit on the ground by O'Sheehan to second. Arispe to his left, tosses to Carmona, and there's two away. That brings up Octavio Medina. Horsford kicks and delivers to him. And there's a base hit for Medina. It goes to right field. 
He pulls it into right field, and that's a two-out single for the Hornets, bringing up the catcher, Ivan Castillo. The stretch by Horsford and the delivery to Castillo, and that is hit on the ground. Uh, third baseman, Carl Phelps, going to go the short way to a wrist bay, and that will end the Hornets' second inning. We've played two, and we have no score in Hornetland. In the Bulls' third inning, it's Bartlett, Moody, and Bryant, 9-1-2 coming up. Molina delivers, and... Bartlett lines a base hit to right field. Leadoff single for the Bulls. And let's see how adventurous we want to get here. Yeah, I think we could have Moody do something here. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's see what we do. Molina the stretch. I would put the hit and run on, but Molina's such a strikeout guy. The pitch to Moody. And he strikes... Oh, no, he doesn't. He got a piece of it. Um, and it is hit... Wait a minute. I'll get it right. Don't worry. Uh, it is hit in the air. This time to center field. Callaway is there, and he's got it. Bartley retreats to first, and there's one out. Here comes Dave Bryant. Molina the stretch and the pitch to Bryant. He struck him out. Number five for Jesus Molina. And that'll bring up Pancho Carmona, who struck out in the first. Molina the stretch and the pitch uh, is swung on and missed by Carmona, number six for Molina. That will retire the side. Got a base runner, uh, but couldn't do anything with him. We go to the bottom of the third. Bulls nothing, Hornets nothing. Horsford will face Holland, Garcia, and Monteso. The bottom, the 8-9-1 hitters in the Hornets lineup. The windup and the delivery by Horsford is strike three swinging. Holland didn't come within three feet of that bender. First strike out for Horsford, and one gone in the bottom of the third. Here's Jose Garcia. Horsford winds and deals, and it's hit on the ground by Garcia to second base. This is a wrist bay. He fires to Carmona, and there's two away. A wrist bay's been busy. Backing up Lane, who uh, was maimed in our last game. Here's Monteso. He walked in the first. The delivery is a base hit for Monteso. This goes to left field, drops in front of Rami, who gets it back in quickly, but Monteso is aboard with a two-out single. All right, here we go. He's going for the jump which he gets the jump. Um, all right, and he's off to the races. Um, my catcher is Craig McKenzie, who is kind of my idiosyncratic guy, but... His arm is, is a one. And so here goes Monteso trying to steal. And he gets in there safely with a stolen base. So a two-out steal for the Hornets puts a man in scoring position now uh, for Orlando Rojas. If he can come through with a base hit, the Hornets could take the lead. Horsford the stretch and the pitch to Rojas. And he popped it up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. 
Under it is McKenzie in foul territory, off with the mask, and he makes the catch for out number three. So, three innings are in the books, and your score is the Bulls nothing and the Hornets nothing. Molina is throwing aspirin tablets. He's got Rami, McKenzie, and Phelps coming up in the Bulls' fourth inning. Do people still say aspirin tablets? I don't know. Might be uh, might be lost on the younger generation. All right, Molina to Rami, the delivery. And A strikes out Rami, number seven. Molina is still throwing aspirin tablets. One gone in the fourth. Here's McKenzie. Uh... And McKenzie hits one in the air. This goes to right field. Can of corn for Garcia. Two down. Carl Phelps singled in the second. Molina winds and deals. And Phelps strikes out. Number eight for Molina. He's got it going on. Eight strikeouts through four innings. We go to the bottom of the fourth. No score in Hornetville, which is not very close on the map to Hooterville. That's a different place entirely. Uh, and so here's Callaway, Rhodes, and O'Shea in the, the meat of the Hornets order. Horsford deals. And a base hit for Callaway to center field. Moody collects it and gets it back in. Here's the cleanup batter, John Rhodes. Double play depth for the Bulls infield. Horsford, the stretch and the delivery. And this is going to be hit on the ground by Rhodes. Rhodes hits it to shortstop Bartlett. Um... So Bartlett doesn't get the runner at second. Arispe is late. He did the old uh, neighborhood play. Let's see if Arispe is going to be able to turn it on Rhodes here at first base. He is. So it'll be a 6-4-3 put out, but Callaway gets to second. Rhodes is retired. There's one out. No Sheehan comes to the plate. That neighborhood play will get you. Horsford, the stretch and the delivery is... Uh-oh. We got big trouble. Uh, Yeah, we got big trouble. This one is corked by O'Sheehan. Horsford's a minus five. O'Sheehan is a two. Let's see if he got it. He did. It's gone. A bomb for Sheehan puts the Hornets up two to nothing in the fourth. Well, that's not what the Bulls were looking for. Here's Medina coming to the plate. Kurt Horsford kicks and deals. There's only one man out. Medina swings, he hits it to third. That's Phelps. He gloves it by the bag and fires across the diamond to Carmona for out number two. Yvonne Castillo at the plate now. Horsford winds and delivers to him. And Castillo hits this one on the ground. A little tap in front of home plate. Mackenzie pounces on it, gets himself an angle, and fires down to Carmona for out number three. But the Hornets... Thanks to an Oshian bomb in the bottom of the fourth. Take a two-run lead. We go to the fifth. Hornets two, Bulls. Nostrum, Arispe, and Bartlett coming up in the fifth. Molina kicks and delivers. And a struck out Lidstrom. Number nine for Molina. One down in the fifth. Arispe comes up. Molina winds and deals to him. And we're, well, wait a minute, Our situation matrix. And that's going to be a 10 and a 9. 
And that is a five. All right. So our situation chart will be third base. And if I can find third base, I'm going to be even. There we go. All righty. That is a four. Batter hits a weak ground ball to third. Third baseman tries to complete the play to first with a bare hand grab. If his defense rating plus the roll plus the batter's speed is less than six, batter is out at first. Five, three, all runners advance, one base. All right. So we got to look at our third baseman's defense rating. That is Rhodes. I call him Tuffy. It's a minus two. The batter's speed, that's a wrist bay, is a three. So he's down to a one. Plus the roll. And let's see. Yep, they got him at first. Nice play by the third baseman, Rhodes. And there's two down in the fifth for the Bulls. And here's Bobby Bartlett. I am playing this way too conservatively. But, I don't know, I think that's probably natural when you're learning the game, learning the players. A lot of variables in play here. Uh, and this is strike three, number 10 for Molina. We are halfway through this one. Hornets two, Bulls nothing. We are fresh off and off day here. Sunday was a travel day. Here we are, April 9th. So my relievers had a day off, but I'm still going to try and squeeze another inning or two out of Horsford. So let's see what we got in the fatigue chart here. Oop, he loses one. So he's down to a minus one and a minus two. All right, he'll face Holland, Garcia, and Monteso in the bottom of the fifth. The wind and the delivery is going to be... A pop-up, and that is on the infield. Pancho Carmona in fair territory calls for it and takes it for out number one. Here's Jose Garcia. The wind-up and the delivery to him. And A strikes out. Look at Horsford trying to match... Uh, Jesus Molina not succeeding, of course, but he's giving it his best shot. Here's Monteso with two outs and nobody on. Horsford deals to him. Base hit for Monteso. This goes to left field. Ramy gets it back in. It's a two-out single. I'll bring up Rosas. But I'm going to try and steal again. Uh, here we go. The hold is a minus two. He does not get the jump. All right. Rosas at the plate. The stretch by Horsford, the delivery. And this will be strike three looking. Horsford gets him, and that'll end the fifth. We go to the sixth, and your score. Hornets two, Bulls nothing. The order coming for the Bulls, but before we do that, we got to check Molina's stamina. All right, Molina's at minus six uh, because of his three innings in a row here. So we're going to give him a roll on the fatigue chart, and it's going to be no change. All right, so Moody is up. The delivery to him. And... Yeah, so that'll be a base hit for Moody to lead off the sixth, and the Bulls desperately needed a base runner. Here's Dave Bryant. Molina the stretch, the pitch to Bryant. Uh, and he strikes him out. Yep, struck him out. That's number 11 for Molina. 
Moody's single broke the nine in a row. Oops, yeah, the nine in a row retired by Molina. Here's Carmona. The stretch by Molina and the delivery is hit in the air, and that is to center field. Under it is Callaway, and he's got it for out number two. Now it's Leroy Ramey. The stretch by Molina and the delivery to Leroy. This is a fly ball that is hit to center, and that is going to end the top of the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and Molina's pitching a gem. Your score is the Hornets 2 and the Bulls nothing. We'll see how Horsford holds up here on his fatigue chart roll. That's a minus one, so he's down to a zero and a minus one. And that's going to get the bullpen going, although I am going to try and get him through the inning. Esto Ortiz is throwing in the bullpen for the Bulls. Callaway leading it off here. The windup and the delivery, that's going to be strike three swinging. Callaway goes down. One down in the Hornets sixth, and Rhodes comes to the plate. Horsford deals to him. And this is a strikeout for Rhodes. Five strikeouts for Horsford. He's airing it out. Sheehan up there now. He homered in the fourth, the pitch. And it's popped up. In fair territory, that is Bryant inside the right field foul line making the catch for out number three. We've played six. And your score, Hornets 2, Bulls nothing. Right, checking Molina's stamina. It's a minus one, so we're knocking him down to fives. Here's McKenzie to lead off the seventh. And that is going to be uh strike three number 12 from molina my goodness phelps up there now the wind up and the delivery this is going to be swung on by phelps and it's hit in the air it goes to right field that's garcia he's got it for out number two kenny lidstrom the dh Molina winds and deals. Lidstrom swings and misses everything. He didn't come within three feet of that bender. And that'll retire the side in the seventh. Time to stretch him out in Hornet land. With your score, the Hornets two and the Bulls nothing. If the Hornets, if the Bulls could get something going against Molina. But so far they have not. All right, or Ernesto Ortiz is going to take over on the mound. He is a left-hander. Horsford is done after six innings of work, five hits, one of them a home run. He walked one. He struck out five. He allowed two runs. They're both earned. He's on the hook for the loss, unless the Bulls can rally. Ortiz is a 71. He's a lefty with a stamina of two. Uh, minus five and minus three. And we'll see how he does against these Hornets. Gotta hold them where they are at and hope for uh, Molina to get tired here. All right, Octavio Medina is up there. One for two. Ortiz deals. And that is going to be extra bases for Medina. It will go to left field and rattle around in the corner. Rami's got to dig it out of there. Medina around first, going to second with a leadoff double in the seventh. Here's Castillo. And, well, he's really good against lefties, so I'm not giving him the bunt. Ortiz the stretch. They could walk him. They could walk him, but they're not going to. The pitch. 
And this is trouble. It's going to be a base hit for Castillo. Goes to center field. That's Paul Moody country. Let's see if they're going to send Medina. Ah. Uh, Gonna stop Medina at third. There's Hornets at the corners and nobody out. Chris Holland comes to the plate. And it's a little early to pinch hit, so I'm not gonna pinch hit yet. Infield is in, the stretch by Ortiz. And that is a base hit. That is a base hit for Holland against the left-hander. It's going to score Medina. Stopping at second is Castillo. It's 3-0 Hornets. And that, I guess, we got to get the bullpen going. Uh, so... Enrique Morin starts to throw a right-hander. And Garcia comes to the plate. Ortiz the stretch. He's going to bunt. And the, the pitch and the bunt... Batter bunts the ball down the third base line. He fields it cleanly and has his choice of play on any runner or batter. Well, Phelps, I believe, is a good defender. So we might have... Phelps is a four at third base. All right. And Castillo is coming to third. Boy, they'd love to get the leading lady here. And that's what they're going to go for. So Phelps is going to flip to Bartlett covering third. And they got him. All right. So Garcia will reach. It's going to be a 5-6 put out on Castillo. And the bunt fails. Here's Monteso. Ortiz the stretch, the pitch to Monteso. And he walked him. Bases are loaded with Hornets. Well, Rosas comes to the plate. Infield has to move in again. Ah, one more batter for Ortiz, the stretch and the delivery. Oh, boy. And it's hit in the air to left. But not deep enough to score anybody, so Rami will make the catch, and everybody holds. Now it's Callaway. Going to try and get Ortiz out of the inning. Two outs. Holland at third. Garcia at second. Monteso at first. Uh... And it's popped up. In short center field, Paul Moody makes the catch. An absolute disaster is averted. But in the seventh, the Hornets get a run on three hits. They leave three. We go to the eighth, and your scores, the Hornets three, and the Bulls nothing. All right. Molina still throwing gas. It's going to be a Rispe, Bartlett, and Moody, but I'm going to make some changes here. We're going to hit for a Rispe. And get the kid in the game. He's just about done breathing into the lunch bags. Uh, so we're going to get a pinch hitter. 
And that will be Boy, Kenny Fairchild has done less than nothing all season, but I'm going to send him up there anyway to hit for a wrist bay. And then the new second baseman will be Ronnie Ruxin, not Teddy Ruspin. Okay. Here's Fairchild, and then he'll be followed by Bartlett. And then Paul Moody. Let's check Molina's stamina, his third inning here. And it's minus one, so he's down to a minus four because of all the gas he was throwing before. But he's got 13 strikeouts in seven innings. Pretty impressive. Here's the delivery to Fairchild. Fairchild, in case you're scoring at home, is a 2-3 and a left-handed batter. All right. Molina deals to him. And that's going to be a fly ball by Fairchild to left field. Under it is Rosas, and he makes the catch for out number one. Fairchild continues his hot hitting. I'm going to write in Ronnie Rux in here, taking over at second in the bottom of the inning. Robert Bartlett comes to the plate. Molina deals to him. And it's a ground ball by Bartlett. Hit to third. That is Rhodes by the bag and fires across the diamond to Medina for out number, one, number two in the eighth. Top of the order now with Paul Moody. Bulls only have four hits. Molina has not walked a man. The pitch. Swung on by Molina. Hit to left. Under it is Rosas. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And your score is the Hornets three. And the Bulls nothing. Ortiz is going to try it one more time. Rhodes, O'Shea, and Medina coming up in the Hornets eighth inning. Rhodes is 0 for 3, the pitch. Oh, we didn't do the, uh, we'll use this for the stamina for the, oh no, we don't need it. We don't need it. All right, so it's a minus 3. And that will be swung on and hit on the ground by Rhodes. To third, that's Phelps. He fires to Carmona and there's one away. Here's Billy O'Sheehan. Ortiz deals. And Sheehan hits one in the air to left. That's Ramy, and he's got it for out number two. Octavio Medina at the plate. He's two for three. Ortiz deals to him. Uh, and that is a ground ball. Tapped in front of home plate. McKenzie on it. Fires to Carmona, and the side is retired. Hey, it's put up or shut up time for the Bulls. We go to the ninth. Your score is the Hornets three and the Bulls nothing. It's going to be Bryant, Carmona, and Ramy two, three, four against Molina. And he has no change, so he's going to stay at minus four. All right, Bryant's 0 for 3 with the hat trick. He's going for the golden sombrero. Molina wines and deals. And, oh, we got our situation chart. See who's involved here. That's going to be a B. All right. I don't like the looks of this. This has heartbreak written all over it. My best player. Batter hit on the pitch with his, on his hit by pitch on a left wrist. Bruises ulna. Batter takes first, but must be substituted by a pinch runner. Check arms minus two. Uh, 
and that's a six. He's gonna miss eight days. So Bryant out eight days. And he goes down to first, but he is gonna be promptly removed for a pinch runner. <clears throat> and that will be, well, I'm out of outfielders. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I got Lidstrom. All right. So <clears throat> at first base will be Bob Rosson, who I've not used yet in the game. So he's going to get his first appearance. Running for Bryant, who's holding his arm and wailing in pain at the moment. All right, Molina. The stretch and the delivery. To Carmona. Is a base hit. Stopping at second will be Rawson. And there's two on Rami at the plate, and that's going to get the Hornets bullpen going. They do have a closer, although it hasn't looked like he'd be needed all game. Derek Little starts to throw. He's a, he's a lefty, and he's getting it ready. Rami at the plate. The Bulls aren't going down without a fight. Molina the stretch, the delivery. And that will be... Uh, a base hit for Rami. Stopping at third will be Rawson. The bases are loaded. Molina may be running out of gas, and here's Craig McKenzie. The stretch. McKenzie's 0 for 3. Molina, the stretch and the delivery. McKenzie swings and hits one in the air. Not deep. Center field. Callaway is there, and he's got it for out number one. All the runners will hold, and Phelps comes up. Molina's going to try and gut it through. The stretch, the delivery. This is hit on the ground to first. All right, that is Medina. And Medina is a five. Oh, man. They're going to try and turn two the traditional way. So they're going to go for McKenzie at second. And they got him there. Now the relay from Monteso. Monteso's a three. They're going to try and, and get Phelps at first. And he beats the rap. So he hits into a fielder's choice, 3-6. Scoring from third is Rawson. Going to third is Carmona. And safe at first is Phelps. That brings up Lidstrom. Now they can't really hit for him. Uh, but he's a lefty, so I'm going to bring in the lefty closer, Derek Little. And the reason I can't hit for him is he's my last outfielder. So, I think. Let's take a check. Let's check. Yeah, all my outfielders are, oh, I could put Bobby Rawson out there. But I've already lost one outfielder. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit for him. So little comes in, and I'm gonna hit for Lidstrom. Let's see who we got on the bench. It's not gonna be pretty. I can promise you that. Oh yes, it is. It's gonna be Billy Scrooby. All right, he's my right-handed hitting DH. Ronnie Ruxin, not Teddy Ruspin, is on deck. Scrooby hits for Lidstrom. Here in the ninth against their closer, David Little. 
All right, Phelps at first. He's the tying run. Carmona at third. Two outs. This is the last chance saloon is Bill Scrooby. Little against a right-handed batter is a minus two. Scrooby against a left-handed pitcher is a three. Little the stretch that'll liberate. And it's going to be on Scrooby's card, but it's a fly ball hit to left. Rosas is there, and the Hornets win the ball game. Let's give you the totals on this one. Oh, the Bulls gave it a valiant effort. For the homestanding and victorious Hornets, three runs on two, four, six, eight base hits, and they committed no errors. The Bulls, one run on two, four, six hits, and they committed no errors. The loss will go uh, to Kurt Horsford, and he is now 0-1 on the season. The win goes to Molina, as does the Player of the Game Award. Molina really did a number on my Bulls. Eight and two-thirds innings, two, four, six hits. He didn't walk anybody. He did hit a man. He struck out 13. With the loss, the Bulls dropped to four and three on the season. And there's two more games to go in the series in Hornetville. So that's it for now. In the description for this video is the link to On Deck Baseball. Check that out. Check out the link to uh, channel membership. That's also in the description for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. This is On Deck Baseball. Your final from Hornetville is the Hornets 3 and the Bulls 1. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.